Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 17th of 2022. Well, it is titled Centaurus A. So what do we see here? Well, this is the closest active galaxy to Earth, and it is known as Centaurus A, about 11 million light years away, which galactically speaking is really in our own backyard. It's what we call an elliptical galaxy, but is a peculiar elliptical galaxy because it is not exactly what we normally expect. Elliptical galaxies are known for not having dust, and we can very clearly see the dust lane going across the middle of this galaxy. So what is likely happening is that two galaxies are in the process of colliding. One, the elliptical galaxy that we see, and the other being may perhaps a spiral or some other type of galaxy that has dust in it that it, we can see it there edge on. So that, there we see the dust from the one galaxy and the other as they collide together. Now galaxy collisions are relatively common and occur and will eventually dissipate and become just a single galaxy. So perhaps these galaxies are in the process of merging into one larger galaxy. And that is how we believe galaxies have grown from the very small galaxies that existed shortly after the Big Bang to the larger spiral and elliptical galaxies that we see today. This is an active galaxy, meaning that it gives off a lot more energy than we would expect based on the type of galaxy it is. And it gives off a different type of energy. It's not the same energy spectrum that we see from a ga an ordinary galaxy. An ordinary galaxy gives off a spectrum that just looks like the combined light of many stars. It's giving lots of visible light, infrared and ultraviolet light. However, active galaxies give off a lot of radio, X-ray and gamma ray energy. And a lot of this is caused by the central core, which in this case is a supermassive black hole, a billion times the mass of our sun. Now compared to the black hole at the center of our galaxy, that's many times larger. The black hole at the center of our Milky Way is about 4 million times the mass of our sun. This is many times larger, a billion times the mass of our sun. And as energy and material from this collision spirals in toward that black hole, it gets heated up to incredibly high temperatures, gives off all sorts of energy before finally being consumed and dissipated appearing from view beyond the event horizon of the black hole. So we can't see anything once it crosses that event horizon. At that point, it takes uh, it have to travel faster than light in order to escape, which we know is not possible. But as it spirals in and what we call an accretion disk, it can be heated up to millions of degrees and give off a lot of x rays and other high energy radiation that is then visible and can be studied in an active galaxy such as this one. So that was our picture of the day for March 17th of 2022. It was titled Centaurus A. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.